Okay, so as you can see, I have the GameCube adapter cords plugged into my Switch. And plugged into my GameCube adapter, I have the DK Bongos. Hello everybody and welcome to Warrior Link's Gauntlet. Today, we will be playing through Celeste with the DK Bongos. I don't know how well this is going to work, um, but so far, uh, seems okay. Oh no, wait, uh, don't want to start with the name Madeline. Let's see if we can try to rename ourselves. Uh, it's a little difficult. There we go, climb. Let's go down. A rename. Okay. I, okay, so as you can see, I'm using the left bongo to move my cursor and the top of the right bongo to press A. Seems like that should work. Okay, B. Just go over O. G O. Yes. There we go. DK Bongos. All right. Let's begin. This is going to be uh, pretty tricky. So, like, there's about, like, four, five, six buttons. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I move at the left, and then... Okay, seems to be working. Let's try jumping. All right, seems to work all right. And uh, yeah, okay, it's the bottom of the right bongo to grab. Okay, <sighs> dang it. All right, let's go back, try again. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Jump, jump, all right, good. Uh, sorry, Bird, we don't have ZL. <laughs> we have right bongo. <laughs> Let's try skipping the cutscene. Uh, okay, there we go. There, There is a start button on the bongos, so I use that. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, let see what dash would... Uh, maybe the clap? Okay, okay, clap works. Clap is the dash. So, top of the right bongo is jump, bottom is grab, and clap is dash. Okay, I, I think we can work with this. All right, Forsaken City, <laughs> here we go. Ooh, got some wall jumps, okay. Jump, dash, okay. Mm, this is... Pretty difficult. See if I can get up here the speed runway. <sighs> nope. Oh, man. Okay, let's just climb up the normal way. Okay, we're going pretty well into this. And grab that. Dash. Okay, good. We're almost there. Almost done with the first level. <laughs> Jump. Dash. Good. Yeah. No, no, definitely can't do the speed runway. Okay, let's just grab that. Okay. Well, I think we did all right. For that part, yeah. 234 DK bongos, I don't think that's too bad. By this point, I'd become a little bit more comfortable with the controls. So in the next level, I even tried to do some hyper dashes, but they weren't very successful. Level 3 wasn't much harder than usual, but I did have some trouble with this room here and with Oshiro himself. In level 4, I had to start climbing more, and that's pretty difficult with the bongos, but it was manageable. In level 5, I decided to try some of my speedrunning tricks, and after a few tries, they actually worked! And also, Theo was a little bit hard to deal with. 
Fun fact, did you know that the DK bongos support 360 degree movement? That made controlling Madeline with these feathers feel really nice. After having a bit of trouble with the battle and boss fight, it was time to finally climb to the summit. Level 7 really put my skills to the test. I had to push, slap, and clap my way up the mountain passing through themes from the 6 previous levels. And then, it finally happened. Last checkpoint. Let's go! 53-37. Not bad for DK Bongos. So, can you beat Celeste with just the DK Bongos? Why, yes, you can! I had a lot of fun doing this challenge, and I hope you guys had fun watching. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!